I found these wooden sandals at Hobby Lobby. They were in the seasonal section. I want to say I paid about $12. I believe they were 40% off. And I'm going to start with Snow Owl by Wise Owl. I'm using our Angle Brush by Wise Owl, the two-inch angle brush. And you're going to see me misting some water uh, with a misting bottle. And this just helps my paint move around and it helps me to blend colors. So again, I'm starting with a snow owl at the top and then I'm gonna go in with some Higgins Lake in this middle area. I'm trying to look at the sandals as one image, not as two separate images. So I'm trying to make it where um, my colors go from left to right and make sense with each other. So a lot of this is going back and forth, going in with the Higgins Lake, and then going back with the Snow Owl until you get the balance that you're looking for. Then I'm gonna go in with Bowie I'm not going to go too heavy with the Bowie, and I'm going to blend that in. Now you can find these paint products at chalkitupfancy.com. We do have two ounce paint kits available if anybody's interested in that. We can get multiple colors in one. I believe they come in a set of six. Now I'm going in with some gray linen. I'm just gonna hit the heel with that. I'm not gonna need too much. And then I'm gonna get some, um, I'm gonna work with some salt wash. This is a powder. It's, um, you can find this at chalkitupfancy.com and it's a paint additive. And I just took a little bit of Snow Owl and added the salt wash. I didn't measure anything. I just went to the thickness that I wanted it. And I'm taking a popsicle stick and creating what I'm hoping appears to be like sea foam where the Bowie and the gray linen meet. This just gives it some texture. And then I found these little gold stones at Dollar General over in the vase decor section. And I just put a couple in the um, in the salt wash and when that dries, it will act as it, as it will hold the stones there. I'm just kind of pushing it into the textured paint. Now I'm going back in with the snow owl and I want to define the straps. I, I wanted the straps to be white and I'm just touching up a little bit here and there with my blending and balancing the two sandals out. A beach theme is very um, easy for a beginner. If you're beginning, you know, wanting to paint something. Um, I believe I did one last year, also kind of the same concept. It was more of a board that said beach on it. I'm just taking a very small bit of gray linen and putting it in that center area. And then I'm going to touch all that up. A lot of it is back and forth and just finding that balance or what pleases your eye. Now I'm just going in, I'm coming off the sandal straps and just creating 
uh, some dry brushing with the white, a little bit here and there, just to give some dimension. Now I went on my computer and I printed out um, some words with my carbon paper. I'm going to trace them on and it says on the one sandal it's going to say when you only saw one set of footprints in the sand dot 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 and I'm going to use a sharpie marker to fill in my letters. Now I try to find fonts that kind of are not um, uniform they're kind of off a little bit and then this takes the pressure off of me to not be perfect with it and then the second sandal is going to say that is when I carried you what a great reminder right so I found this tubing it kind of looks like a, it kind of looks like burlap but it's like this light tube I get these this at the uh, dollar tree usually comes out around Halloween in different colors. I just love it. Uh, it has the appearance of jute, but it's just like a tube. If anybody knows what the name of it is, feel free to state it. Um, I can't remember. And I just did a knot at the end of each sandal strap with it. And I did this on both sandals. Now when you're done, you can use any top coat. You can use our one hour enamel, our varnish, our salve. If you're going to put outside, I probably would choose the varnish, three coats. And remember, everything needs 30 days of dry time before you expose it to any weather. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.